Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company Limited (TSMC), Chinese Taiwan GT Dianlu Zhizhou Gongzi Pinyin Taiwan GT Dianlu Zhizhou Gongzi, also known as Taiwan Semiconductor, is the world's largest dedicated independent pure play semiconductor foundry, with its headquarters and main operations located in the Xinchu Science and Industrial Park in Xinchu, Taiwan. Topic Overview. Founded in Taiwan in 1987 by Morris Chang, TSMC was the world's first dedicated semiconductor foundry and has long been the leading company in its field. In addition to semiconductors, the company has also begun investing in lighting and solar energy-related industries. It is listed on both the Taiwan Stock Exchange and the New York Stock Exchange. Mark Liu serves as chairman and C.C. Wei serves as CEO and vice chairman. Most of the leading fabless semiconductor companies such as Qualcomm, NVIDIA, Advanced Micro Devices, AMD, MediaTek, Marvell and Broadcom Inc. are customers of TSMC, as well as emerging players such as Spectra 7, Spreadtrum, Applied Micro, Allwinner Technology and Hisilicon, and many smaller companies. Leading programmable logic device companies Xilinx and previously Altera also make or made use of TSMC's foundry services. Some integrated device manufacturers that have their own fabrication facilities like Intel, ST Microelectronics and Texas Instruments outsource some of their production to TSMC. At least one semiconductor company, LSI, resells TSMC wafers through its ASIC design services and design IP portfolio. The company has been increasing and upgrading its manufacturing capacity for most of its existence, although influenced by the demand cycles of the semiconductor industry. In 2011, the company planned to increase research and development expenditures by almost 39% to $50 billion in an effort to fend off growing competition. The company also planned to expand capacity by 30% in 2011 to meet strong market demand. In May 2014, TSMC's board of directors approved capital appropriations of $568 million to establish, convert, and upgrade advanced technology capacity after the company forecast higher than expected demand. In August 2014, TSMC's board of directors approved additional capital appropriations of $3.05 billion. In 2011, it was reported that TSMC had begun trial production of the A5 SOC and A6SOCs for Apple's iPad and iPhone devices. According to reports, as of May 2014, Apple is sourcing its new A8 and A8X SOCs from TSMC and later sourced the A9 SOC with both TSMC and Samsung to increase volume for iPhone 6 launch with the A9X being exclusively made by TSMC, thus resolving the issue of sourcing a chip in two different microarchitecture sizes. Apple has become TSMC's most important customer. TSMC's market capitalization reached a value of $1.9 trillion, $63.4 billion in December 2010. It was ranked 70th in the FT Global 500 2013 list of the world's most highly valued companies with a capitalization of $86.7 billion, while reaching $110 billion in May 2014. In March 2017, TSMC's market capitalization surpassed that of semiconductor giant Intel for the first time, hitting $5.14 trillion, $168.4 billion, with Intel's at $165.7 billion. Topic: <laughs> Production capabilities. On 12-inch wafers TSMC is realizing the following devices 0.13 micrometers options general purpose G low power LP high performance low voltage LV 90 nanometers based upon 80 GC from Q4 2006 65 nanometers options general purpose GP low power LP ultra low power ULP LPG 55 nanometers options general purpose GP low power LP it also offers design for manufacturing DFM customer services for the 40 nanometers process still in production at end of 2016 TSMC reports the 40 nanometers logic family includes low power LP general purpose superb G low power triple gate oxide LPG process options 
All three processors offer multiple threshold voltage Vermont core devices and 1.8 volts, 2.5 volts, 3.3 volts I/O options to meet different product requirements. Although TSMC offers a variety of wafer product lines, including high voltage, mixed signal, analog, and MEMS, it is best known for its logic chip product line with particular strength in advanced low power processors such as 28 nanometers HPM with HKMG technology for mobile and high performance applications. A press release from 2015 lists these seven variants. Today TSMC has five versions of 28 nanometers. HP high performance. HPM high performance mobile. HPC high performance computing. HPL high performance low power. LP low power. Two additional processors were added. HPC Plus, which is an even faster version of HP. ULP, which is ultra low power for IoT and other battery powered applications. In press publications, these processors will often be referenced, for example, for the mobile variant, simply by 28 nmhpm or even more briefly by 28 hpm. TSMC is at the end of 2016 further advertising 20 nanometers HKMG, SIGE, and 16 nanometers FinFET Plus production technologies. Topic. Facilities Apart from its main base of operations in Xinchu in northern Taiwan, where several of its fab facilities are located, it also has leading edge fabs in southern Taiwan and central Taiwan, with other fabs located at its subsidiaries TSMC China in Shanghai, China, WaferTech in Washington State, USA, and SSMC in Singapore, and it has offices in China, Europe, India, Japan, North America, and South Korea. The following fabs are in operation as of 2018. 3 300 mm 12 inch. GIGAFABs in operation in Taiwan, Fab 12 Xinchu, 14 Tainan, 15 Taichung. 4 200 mm 8 inch wafer fabs in full operation in Taiwan, Fabs 3, 5, 6, 8. TSMC China Company Limited, Shanghai, 200 mm 8 inch Fab 10. TSMC Nanjing Company Limited, 300 mm 12 inch Fab 16. WaferTech LLC, TSMC's wholly owned subsidiary, a 200 mm 8 inch fab in Camas, Washington, United States, Fab 11. SSMC, Systems on Silicon Manufacturing Co., a joint venture with NXP Semiconductors in Singapore, 200 mm 8 inch, where production started at the end of 2002. One 150 mm 6 inch wafer fab in full operation in Taiwan, Fab 2, fab under construction as of 2018. Fab 18, 300 mm 12 inch Tainan TSMC has four back-end fabs under operation, Fab 1 Xinchu, 2 Tainan, 3 Taoyuan City, and 5 Taichung. The investment of $9.4 billion to build its third 12-inch wafer fabrication facility in Central Taiwan Science Park Fab 15 was originally announced in 2010. The facility was expected to output over 100,000 wafers a month and generate $5 billion per year of revenue. TSMC has continued to expand advanced 28 nanometers manufacturing capacity at Fab 15. On the 12th of January 2011, TSMC announced the acquisition of land from Powerchip Semiconductor for $2.9 billion, $96 million, to build two additional 300 millimeters fabs to cope with increasing global demand, which would result in Fab 12B. Topic: WaferTech subsidiary. WaferTech, a subsidiary of TSMC, is a pure-play semiconductor foundry located in Camas, Washington, USA. It is the largest pure-play foundry in the United States. The facility employs 1,100 workers. WaferTech was established in June 1996 as a joint venture with TSMC, Altera, Analog Devices, and ISSI as key partners. The four companies along with minor individual investors invested $1.2 billion into this venture, which was at the time the single largest startup investment in the state of Washington. The company started production in July 1998 in its 200mm 8-inch semiconductor fabrication plant. Its first product was a 0.35 micrometer part for Altera. TSMC bought out the joint venture partners in 2000 and acquired full control, and currently operates it as a fully owned subsidiary. WaferTech is based in Camas, 20 miles 30 kilometers outside of Portland, Oregon. 
The Wafertech campus contains a 1 million square foot square meters complex housed on 260 acres one square kilometer. The main fabrication facility consists of a 130,000 square feet 12,000 square meters 200 millimeters 8 inch wafer fabrication plant. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Sales and market trends. TSMC's sales have increased from $44 billion, $1.5 billion in 1997 to $763 billion, approximately $25 billion in 2014, while net income was $264 billion, $9 billion in 2014 with a gross profit margin of 50%. TSMC and the rest of the foundry industry are exposed to the highly cyclical nature of the semiconductor industry. During upturns, TSMC must ensure that it has enough production capacity to meet strong customer demand. However, during downturns, it must contend with excess capacity because of weaker demand, and the high fixed costs associated with its manufacturing facilities. As a result, the company's financial results tend to fluctuate with a cycle time of a few years. This is more apparent in earnings than revenues because of the general trend of revenue and capacity growth. TSMC's business has generally also been seasonal with a peak in Q3 and a low in Q1. In 2014, TSMC was at the forefront of the foundry industry for high-performance, low-power applications, leading major smartphone chip companies such as Qualcomm, MediaTek and Apple to place an increasing amount of orders. While the competitors in the foundry industry primarily Global Foundries and United Microelectronics Corporation have encountered difficulties ramping leading-edge 28 nanometers capacity, the leading integrated device manufacturers such as Samsung and Intel that seek to offer foundry capacity to third parties were also unable to match the requirements for advanced mobile applications. For most of 2014, TSMC saw a continuing increase in revenues due to increased demand, primarily due to chips for smartphone applications. TSMC raised its financial guidance in March 2014 and posted unseasonably strong first quarter results. For Q2 2014, revenues came in at $183 billion, with 28 nanometer technology business growing more than 30% from the previous quarter. Lead times for chip orders at TSMC increased due to a tight capacity situation, putting fabless chip companies at risk of not meeting their sales expectations or shipment schedules, and in August 2014 it was reported that TSMC's production capacity for the fourth quarter of 2014 was already almost fully booked, a scenario that had not occurred for many years, which was described as being due to a ripple effect due to TSMC landing CPU orders from Apple. However, monthly sales for 2014 peaked in October, decreasing by 10% in November due to cautious inventory adjustment actions taken by some of its customers. TSMC's revenue for 2014 saw growth of 28% over the previous year, while TSMC has forecast that revenue for 2015 will grow by 15 to 20% from 2014, thanks to strong demand for its 20 nanometers process, new 16 nanometers FinFET process technology, as well as continuing demand for 28 nanometers and demand for less advanced chip fabrication in its 8-inch fabs. In October 2014, ARM and TSMC announced a new multi-year agreement for the development of ARM-based 10 nanometers. Infant processes. Equals equals see also.